Hey everybody, Cody here from Protocase, back with another Proto Tech Tip. Today is part two of two about designing sheet metal parts within SOLIDWORKS. So today's issue I want to talk to you guys about is overriding sheet metal parameters on your CAD model. Sometimes we will receive parts submitted from SOLIDWORKS that have different visible bend radii in their flanges. If the difference is large enough, you can usually clearly notice this. However, sometimes there are very small differences between the radii that are just not visible. The only way to detect these is to actually edit each flange feature on the part and look for the checkbox that states, Use Default Radius. If this is unchecked, it means this flange has custom values on it. So, why is this an issue? Well, if we are using the same tooling profile to bend the part, it needs to have consistent bend values throughout the flanges. By bend values, I mean bend radius and bend allowance. If any of the flanges have a custom value, when we flatten the part to cut on our CNC laser, it will actually be slightly too large or too small. When it comes time to bend the part, because there is extra bend allowance or bend radius values on one of these flanges, there is a high potential to bend this part out of tolerance. So, let's take a look at our flat pattern measurements using a part that has overriding features. This one measures 9.788 inches across. Now let's go ahead and use our default radius and measure this one again. So you can now visually see that the two bending radius values are the same. This one now measures 9.826 inches, which is the correct value. However, as always, there are exceptions to this rule. If we need to use a different tooling profile in a certain bend in order to clear a part of the geometry that would otherwise cause interference, then we'll usually have to override these bend parameters just for that flange. Because we are using a tooling combo that matches that overriding numbers, it should bend up just fine. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you see the importance of making sure that your files submitted do not have overriding sheet metal parameters. That's it for this week's Proto Tech Tip, and we'll see you next week for another one.